Hey guys, welcome back to IMFL. Have you ever wanted those luxurious, comfy beds that you get in hotel rooms or the ones you see on Instagram? Well, today I'm gonna show you just how to achieve that. So keep watching. As usual I was online doing my usual browsing because you know I like to shop and I went on to uh, a website Danelm where like where they sell all the whole home stuff and all of that um, and I came I was looking at bedding obviously and I came across this really really nice bedding and like I'm gonna show you guys it's really really lovely like it's this nice floral teal blue um, and it's actually double sided so it means that you can put it on either this way or that way so when I saw that like I was taken aback I was like this is beautiful now for someone like me who tends to entertain guests and have visitors around and stuff I always like to have a really nice comfy looking bed um, and it is comfy when you lie in it as well so basically um, in order to have the most comfortable bed we need some basics and I'm gonna talk you through what those are so that you can replicate the look that I will show you today. So we start off mainly with a mattress protector, obviously to protect the mattress, to make it last longer. Um, and then my secret to having a very, very comfortable bed is to use a second fleece layer. So it's almost like a sandwich. So you put the mattress protector to protect the mattress then you use a fleece. So you know those like throws, those fleeces that you can put on you during the winter if you're cold and you're watching TV or something. I get one of those and then I layer it really nicely, tuck it in on the sides, which I'll show you. And then put the actual um, bed sheet on top of that. So you get this really nice thick layer. It's almost like a, a mattress topper layer, but it's like DIY version. <laughs> Um, yeah, so once you've done that, then obviously you're going to cover your duvet. So we're going to get a duvet cover. Now, depending on the weather, you obviously need to look up what duvet you want. If it's winter, you want one with a, a higher tog number. If it's summer, like we are in now, you want something that's relatively light and airy so you're not sweating uh, during the night. And then obviously you're going to need some pillows. Now, when it comes to pillows, if you are doing the bed to present it, um, you're looking at a minimum of four, possibly five pillows. Now I'll show you that in a second. So you can have your standard pillows. Then what is really good to have is, you know, those like housewife pillows um, or they're called Oxford pillows. They're really good as well for presentation. And then you can have like a little cushion in the middle just for decor. So I will show that today. And what crowns off the look is having a bedspread. Now bedspreads can be quite expensive. So if you do really want one to create the look that you want, you need to be looking on these sort of websites around sale times because you can get it for half the price. And it makes all the difference. It really crowns it off. You get that hotel look you've always wanted plus the comfort. So let's get right into it, guys, and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Follow me. So first you get the um, simple mattress protector. And then this is my fleece. So any fleece will do. It doesn't really matter what design it is. Um, just make sure you get it really nice and taut by stretching it as much as possible so that it covers the sides. And then get your fitted sheet. I like the fitted ones because they've got the stretchy sides. So it's a bit easier to get on. Except each time I stretched mine, the other side came off. Gosh, this took me a while. But eventually I got there. So once you've got it the right way round, just make sure it's nice and tight and that you sort of use your hands to iron out any creases. And then your duvet and your duvet cover. Mine's two sides, as I just showed you. And then there are many ways to get the duvet into the duvet cover. But I like to use the corner to corner method because I just think it's simpler. Get the other two corners in and then you can button it up. Ignore the creases in this, guys. It's new and I didn't get to iron it before the video. 
So button it all up nicely. And then you've got your really nice trio layer underneath and your duvet on top. Ah, oh, lovely. Oops. I can't throw. <laughs> so sort out your pillows. Get all four pillows into the pillow covers or pillow cases. And then turn over the side, guys, just so you can get that nice, lovely contrast. It gives it a pop of colour. What I would advise is if you can, stick the sides of that area where you've turned it over into the bed if you have the space. My bed didn't have a lot of space beside the mattress, so I couldn't stick it in. So arrange your pillows nicely so that the open bits are facing each other. And then to add a personalised touch, you can add a pillow. Mine says R&D, and I'm sure you can guess what that means. And then the bedspread that I was talking about, it's nice and thick and luxurious. Ignore the creases again, guys, because it was new. You could just fold it on the corner. And there you have it, guys. A lovely, comfortable hotel style bed with a personalised touch. You can have the bedspread going across as a runner as well for two different looks. And that's it from me, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to IMFL for more videos like this. And I'll catch you again next Sunday. Mm -hmm.